here as the chairman of the committee that is organizing the national celebrations and I've been accompanied by my fellow PSS who also sit with me in the committee. I have the PS in charge of defense, uh, Mr. Mariro. I have the PS uh, in charge of roads, Engineer Mbugwa, and the PS in charge of sports, uh, Mr. Mweke Jonathan. Now, it's the second time we are physically here to check the level of preparedness and the preparations uh, towards uh, Madaraka Day celebrations. So two things have happened since uh, the last time we are here. Number one is that uh, we have uh, gone ahead and made the decision to hold the event at this stadium instead of Njukiri for reasons related to time as well as the cost. But then just to give you the assurance that uh, the team that is uh, being supervised by the KDF would be able to give us uh, the stadium ready for the celebrations a month to the time the celebrations will be happening. So already there's a lot of work that is going on as uh, governor has indicated the workshop where they're doing the precast is at the Njukiri showground and uh, already if you look across there's already work that is uh, that has begun and we expect that within the next 45 days the structure will be up and uh, the rest of uh, the amenities would have been put uh, together. And the issue number two is that uh, we have changed the theme for this year's celebrations from universal health coverage to focus on the SMEs, the small and micro medium enterprises, so that uh, we focus on improving the economy, which is uh, one of the biggest challenges. And, uh, then means that for the people of Embu, it's another opportunity to look at how we are able to spur the economy of this county. Not just Embu town, but the uh, county of, of Embu. And it's an, also an opportunity because we'll be having so many Kenyans from all parts of the country coming in to be part of the celebrations. And uh, as the people of Embu, we know you to be very hospitable and uh, we are going to have uh, a good, uh, a good uh, celebration. There are other issues that we are going to be discussing with the technical team just to make sure that uh, we tick all the boxes to ensure that we have uh, a good Madaraka Day celebrations. I would want us to stop there and uh, we will be providing regular feedback through the office of the governor through the office of the regional uh, commissioner as well as the county commissioner and the technical team that work with us. And we'll be visiting uh, EMBU every so often to assess the progress of the works and also to give uh, the people of EMBU the assurance that uh, we are up to the task and we are ready to, to host uh, the celebrations. Thank um, you. So there are several components. Eh? So for this stadium, I need to get the exact figure but it's about 300 million uh, Kenya shillings. Yes. There's an element of time, because even uh, what we are doing now is uh, using the precast uh, slabs, which shortens the period. But even then, you realize, uh, if we were to do it on the other side, it would require an extra one to two months to be able to, to complete the, the entire sphere. Given the time that is there, it's not practical. Now, the other information that is important to note is that the other space, we were to do it from scratch, and uh, it's still going to happen. It's only that when it is ready or when it is done, it will be way after, after the Madaraka Day celebrations. So that process of doing the international study at Kuchukiri is still ongoing. And uh, when uh, the president will be here for the Madaraka Day celebration, we will also have the occasion to do the groundbreaking on the other side to ensure that uh, that original promise is still realized. Yes. Uh, day and night, it has to be able to work throughout the rainy season, and that's why it's trying to fast track things that uh, would be difficult to implement. Begin. And then, more importantly, is that uh, we must use the locals for purposes of uh, providing labor but also for the sourcing of materials.